Welcome back to the Cars of Queens YouTube channel. Today we have not your ordinary Chevy Caprice and not your ordinary 9C1 Chevy Caprice either. These have faded away totally, just out of mere existence. Um, and this isn't just any 9C1, as you guys can probably tell by these bumper guards. This is an NYPD unmarked RMP 1990 Chevy Caprice 9C1. That's a long name but it's a really, really rare car. This is the only one that I know in existence and it's owned by a couple in their 90s who have had this car since it, its retirement in 1997. And uh, from what they told me, they believe it's a Lieutenant's uh, take home RMP, which is why it survived. It's in nice shape. It was an unmarked car its entire life. As you guys can tell, this is the original paint, albeit it's missing all the clear coat. It's getting rusted and you see all the patina and the fading, but it's got the original hubcaps. They've got a ton of parts for it, and I want to show you guys uh, the ins and outs of this car. It's going to be one of the projects on the channel and one of my rarest cars. Um, and as you guys can see, we've got the KGTs on the back as well. So uh, quick backstory about how I found this car. My buddy Kevin, he was driving by. You guys follow him, XYX Car Spotting on Instagram. But uh, he was just driving by. He took a couple pictures front and back of this car. He sent it to me, and I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Those bumpers. No way, no way, what is this? So I run the VIN and auto check in Carfax and what do you know? It's a real NYPD RMP. Unbelievable find, only one in existence. Um, if there was another one in New York City, I think I would have known about it by now or somebody would have found it. But this is incredible, incredible find. Can't wait to show you guys the ins and outs. This is literally the only look you'll probably ever get in modern day of a real NYPD Chevy Caprice RMP. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hey, Joanne. This is... Uh, I'm outside now. Do you guys mind stepping oh, right. out? Okay. All right. I'll see you. All right. Okay. So we got the owners coming out. They're about to show us inside and uh, see if we can get her started. She doesn't really move much, as you guys can tell. And it doesn't really get driven. But the owner did mention to me that, you know, he's, he's, he's 90 years old or 91, something like that. And his dying wish is to get this car running and driving and we're gonna make that come true so let's do it hi alan nice to meet this you my buddy alan oh, well, he's here with Mercedes. how'd you get it to start uh, my, to my mechanic was all over the car for a couple of days and he fixed the thing uh, i dropped like 1300 hours in parts uh-huh Club comes off. So my damn keys here. Wow. Is Mike coming? Oh, there he is. Hi. How are you? Okay. Alan, nice to meet you. Hi, buddy Alan. Good hey. to see you again, Mike. How have you been? Don't get old. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't problem. get old, guys. Okay. If you do it, then uh, yeah, that's right. Try to see if you can come up with the fill that it reverses. Right. You know what I mean? Better than me. Hey, 90 years old already. So. You're 90? 90. Oh, well, you look 50 to me. Huh? You look 50. Hey, if you were a girl, I'd kiss you. Oh. <laughs> all right? Oh. Because that's what they always say. The girls, say, all the women say to you, you're looking about 50. And I grab them, I hug them, and I said, okay, then fuck me. That's the only thing I could do for you. Oh. <laughs> That's more than enough for me. Well, then you behave it. I put a lot of... So the last time we were here, she didn't run. She didn't drive. Now she lives up to the hype. Let's take a look on inside. New alternator. Uh, we got a new battery in here. A few other stuff, as you guys can see. A brand new battery. So, wow. Running and driving in white like for Caprice. That is something you don't see every day. Yes. Oh, that's good. good. I, no, I already found out. Yeah, I can get another 100,000 miles out Yeah, you take care of it. I can take it for a test drive. Now 
we're gonna hit the road in the 1990 Chevy Caprice RMP. Kiddo. All right. It's hard to remember all these people's names. Yeah. But that's what the thing oh, is really with him. It needs to have uh, the inside done. Well, of course. It needs a restoration, but oh, that's hey, why we're here. Let me say, Nick, I'm not bullshit here. You need to do. I was gonna have it done all anyway. Mm -hmm. But somebody came along and because I was, I wanted to restore it because that's why I got the extra part of it. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. a whole bunch of stuff with it, and I make sure I've got a, a whatever I'm going to think about. Like in other words, if you get into an accident or something, you can't replace like the front ends and stuff like that. Yeah, so, irreplaceable parts. Yeah, yeah. These, places, these parts are not easy to find. Yes. We got the signal stat, uh, traffic light right here, signal stats, it's, it's cracked. What? How, how can I explain it? When this car sits in the sun, mm -hmm. this takes a beating. That's yeah. why, the, that's the why sun this thing, bakes everything. That's why this thing is out weighing. And the same thing with this one here. Yeah. But they do work. Right. And the dash, it got ripped up by the sun, as you can well, see. Well, right everybody's, hey. any car right. <laughs> yeah. of this age. Yeah, the, uh, the shifter it works. It's yes, a little bit yes. loose. Yeah, well, that's well, no, because probably the linkage or something. No, no, no. We had. You know how many times they try to steal this car? Really? Yeah. It's crazy. Huh? And they took the, 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 the steering column. Uh -huh. the, 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 see, this column came out of one that the thing goes up and down. That's why. Uh -huh. But you see, it's got, uh, like I say, I like it. I, I hate to get rid of it. Yeah. Because the car he drives in, that Mercedes, Man, he could have had a bump with that thing. He's Get having me. a hard time getting in and out of the That's city, right. so. She rumbles. Well, you can hear it. Hey, got a lot of oomph. Yeah, she definitely does. It needs an alignment. It could yeah, but just make sure you don't, you don't raise your get. People, people get out of the way when they see you coming. They see you coming. That's <laughs> yeah, what I like this is a car. big car. Uh -huh. if somebody yeah. hits this, it's, it's over for their car. That's exactly what I got said. Got that right. And when you got a parking space, well, they give you that much on each side, front and back. Yeah, these bumpers are not playing any games. Mm -hmm. Well, I got two, like I told you, I got front and rear. I got a brand new radiator. Well, when that was, uh, I wish on what age radio. I could be as well off as this car is. <laughs> yeah, this car is, 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 is doing well for its age, for sure. Yeah. Well, like I say, it needs some, um, uh, a tune-up and all that. Oh, I didn't know we had a... Uh-oh, uh the meter maid is blocking us in. Oh, somebody complained about somebody blocking us Somebody, no, probably that or they... Uh, well, people may have the house so they think they own the street over here, you know? Get her off this you got power to go up this hill. Yeah, you're going to need some power oh. to get off this hill. She's definitely low on power, but it's a big, uh, almost 5,000 pound car. Well, it hasn't been run, run, it hasn't run on a highway for a while, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, a, a, a little TLC, whatever. Yeah. It would be amazing to get this on the dyno and see how much this car is really making. But these seats are pretty comfortable, I gotta say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you gotta get this seat. Uh, this is the seat that was used a lot of the time. That's why it's got a mm -hmm. one out. Yeah. I don't have, well, you can't do nothing. Hey, I can't be perfect. I'm just trying to tell you what's wrong. It's not new. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Absolutely. It's like me, over the hill. No, but you're not ready over to go. The hill. I'm so ready to go. Watch this guy here. <laughs> See if no, the we, horn we, works. we, we, I don't know. Where's the horn on? Yeah, the horn does not work. That's okay. Oh, oh, it does work. Oh, ah, it's all wired up. You know what it is? Wired a guy, I, I went to a mechanic, uh, these backyard mechanics, okay. and they all like to look for shortcuts. Ah. If you know what I mean by shortcut, right. it's supposed to be in here. Right. But so the guy put it down in here. Hey. What can I do? Reverse. Oh, 
Well, you know, hey, you got some reverses. Hey, you, you, you did all right. Reverses. If you stop here, you can get out. <laughs> Let me Otherwise, stop here. you get to. This, to this. <laughs> make another car with the parts. Oh, yeah. And that concludes the test drive of the 1990 Chevy Caprice 9C1 NYPD RMP. Now let's talk numbers. Cars of Queens, the art of the deal, a car realistically worth $700. I just got banged out for $3,500 by a 90 year old couple. That's how you do it, folks. They should put me on Shark Tank or something because that's an amazing deal. But where else am I going to find this car? And I don't know what I just did, but uh, $3,500. What do you guys think? This car worth $3,500? Does it look like it's worth $3,500? <laughs> but there you have it. Only way to get it done. Really rare car. Hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.